Let's look at the food law. So let's go to Leviticus 1, chapter 11. And the Lord spoke unto Moses and to Aaron, saying unto them, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, These are the beasts which ye shall eat among all the beasts that are on the earth, whatsoever part the hoof, and is cloven-footed, and cheweth, cheweth the cud among the beasts, that shall ye eat. Nevertheless, these shall ye not eat of them that cheweth the cud, or of them that divideth the hoof, as the camel, because he cheweth the cud, but divideth not the hoof. He is unclean unto you. And the coney, because he cheweth the cud, but divideth not the hoof. He is unclean unto you. And the hare, because he cheweth the cud, but divideth not the hoof, he is unclean unto you. And the swan, though he divide the hoof, and he cheweth a cloven foot, yet he cheweth not the cud, he is unclean unto you. Of their flesh shall ye not eat, and of their carcasses shall ye not touch, they are unclean unto you. These these shall ye eat of all that are in the water, whatsoever hath fins and scales in the water, in the seas, and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. And all that have not fins and scales in the seas, and in the rivers, of all the moves in the waters, of any living thing that which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you. They shall be even as an abomination unto you. You shall not eat of their flesh, but ye shall have their carcasses is, is an abomination. Whatsoever hath not no fins nor scales in the waters, that shall be an abomination unto you. And these are they that which ye shall have an abomination among the fowls. They shall not be eaten. They are an abomination, the eagle, and the ostrich, and the osprey, and the deluge, and the kite after his kind, every raven after his kind, and the owl, and the nighthawk, and the cockaroo, and the hawk after his kind, and the, the little owl, and the cormant, and the great owl, and the swan, and the pelican, and the gear eagle, and the stork, the heron after her kind, and the lapwing, and the bat, all fowls that, cr that creep going upon all four shall be an abomination unto you. <coughs> now I want you to take note in this one. All fowls that creep going upon all fours shall be an abomination to you. I have never seen a bird that had four feet. So this is kind of strange. But nowadays, you the, the government gives you no choice but to eat what you eat. So... All right, let's go on. I'm sorry. Yet these may be eat of every flying, creeping thing that goeth upon all four, which have legs above their feet, and leap with all upon the earth. Doesn't all birds have legs above their feet? God's saying something to us here. We have to study to find out why. And even these of them ye may eat, the locusts after his kind, and the bald locusts after his kind, and the beetle after his kind, and the grasshopper after his kind, but all other flying, creeping things which have four feet, shall be an abomination unto you. Now, 
this is another thing. Some of these bugs, do they have four feet? The grasshopper? Yeah, the grasshopper does. Okay. Okay. But all other flying, creeping things which have four feet shall be an abomination to you. And these ye shall be unclean. Whatsoever touches the carcass of them shall be unclean until evening. And whosoever breatheth off the carcass of them shall wash his clothes and be unclean until evening. The carcass of every beast which divideth the hoof and is not cloven footed, nor cheweth the cut, are unclean to you. And every one that touches them shall be unclean. And whatsoever goeth upon his paws among all manner of beasts that goeth upon all four, these are unclean unto you. Whatsoever touches their carcasses shall be unclean until the evening. Now this is talking about cats and dogs, way I fear it. And he that beareth the carcass of them shall wash his clothes and be unclean until the evening. They are unclean unto you. These also shall be unclean unto you among the creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. The whistle, the weasel, <laughs> the whistle, the weasel and the mouse and the tortoise after his kind. And the ferret and the chomelon and the lizard and the snail and the mole. These are unclean unto you among all the creeping. Whatsoever doeth touch them, when they be dead, shall be unclean until evening. And upon whatsoever any of them, when they are dead, doeth fall, it shall be unclean, whether it be any vessel of wood, or raiment, or skin, or sack, whatsoever vessel it be therein, any work is done, it must be put into water. And it shall be unclean until evening, so it shall be clean. In other words, it needs to be washed. And every eastern vessel thereunto, any of them falleth whatsoever it is, shall be unclean, and shall, and ye shall break it. Of all the meat which may be eaten, that on which such water cometh, shall be unclean. And all drink that may be drunk in every such vessel shall be unclean. And everything whereupon any part of their carcass falls shall be unclean. Whether it be oven or range or pot, they shall be broken down. For they are unclean and shall be unclean unto you. Nevertheless, a foundation or pit wherein there is plenty of water, shall be clean. But that which touches their car carcasses shall be unclean. And if any part of their carcass fall upon any sowing seed, which is in the sh which to be sown shall be clean. But if any water be put upon the seed, and any part of their carcass shall fall thereon, it shall be unclean unto you. And if any beast of which ye may eat die, he that touches the carcass thereof shall be unclean unto you until the evening. And he that eateth of the carcass, it shall be washed his clothes and be unclean until the evening. He also that beareth the carcass of it shall wash his clothes and be unclean until the evening. And Every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth shall be an abomination. It shall not be eaten. Whatsoever goeth upon the belly, and whatsoever goeth upon all fours, or whatsoever has more feet among all creeping things that creepeth upon the earth, <coughs> then ye shall not eat, for they are an abomination. Ye shall not make yourselves abominable, with any creeping thing that creepeth, neither shall ye make yourselves unclean with them, that ye should be defiled thereby. For I am the Lord your God. Ye shall therefore sanctify yourself, and ye shall be holy, for I am holy. 
Neither shall ye defile yourself with any manner of creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. For I am the Lord that bringeth you out of the land of Egypt to be your God. You shall therefore be holy, for I am holy. This is the law of the beef and of the fowl and of every creeping creature that moveth upon the waters of every creature that creepeth upon the earth to make a difference between the, the unclean and the clean and between the beast that may be eaten and the beast that may not be eaten. Well, you got to look. People, they go out and they kill animals that you shouldn't eat. Like, they have turtle soup and stuff like that. They even eat squirrel, which you're not supposed to eat. But, some of the things, they don't sound right. I haven't really been able to grasp them, and I'm going to tell you I'm not. But if you know what the words are, when you see it, then you know what it is. And mostly, the, I, I believe mostly that God wants you to watch out for the unclean things. Of course, I'm not going to eat no snake. I don't want to eat no rat. And most of definitely not a bat. Or what about it? Wanna? Come on. That is unclean. So, think about what's clean and what's unclean. And what the government is pushing on us. Bye.